Hey guys, a chieftain of the Liberal Party, Madoka, has tackled the incumbent administration of Governor Hopu Zodima, saying the governor has damaged the state in the last four years. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. A chieftain of the Labour Party, Maduka, has tackled the incumbent administration of Governor Opu Zadima, saying the governor has damaged the state in the last four years. Maduka, who spoke with journalists, said if elected, the Labour Party would rescue and rebuild the state. Expressing optimism ahead of the November 11 governorship election, Maduka predicted a resounding victory for his party, saying the people are ready, celebrating in advance, as they expect the party to restore the state's last glory, or lost glory, I meant to say. The tax ahead for Labour Party in Imo, after winning the election, was to rescue and rebuild it from the damages done to it by the incumbent administration, he said. Commenting on the legal tussle within the party over the legal, uh, the legal candidate for the governorship election, Maduka said the party was focused on winning the, the state after the decision of the Supreme Court. We had to come to court so that the court could interpret who is legitimate or who is not. Well, at least, we are back to base now, and we will do everything possible to make sure that our party wins this election. Because all this, why we were in court, but the court had settled the, the satisfaction between us. The Supreme Court has taken a decision. Therefore, we have to reclaim our mandate, and that is what we are going to do in the election. So, I will advise our people to make sure that they come out in March and vote for Labour Party, Maduka added. Nigerians, this is about Imo State governorship election. The Labour Party candidate, governorship candidate, Basil Maduka, is assuring the Imo light that if they vote for Labour Party, they will rescue Labour Party from, they will rescue Imo State from uh, damages that was caused by the incumbent governor, Governor Opu Zodema. They promised to rebuild Imo State. I am talking about the Labour Party. So they are now asking the Imo lights to come out in March, you know, to, to vote for Labour Party because this is the only party, according to him, that will rescue uh, the Imo State from the damages that has been caused by the APC uh, uh, governor, Governor Hope Uzodema. And Nigerians who have reacted to this are asking so many questions. INEC, will INEC declare the real winner? Hmm. Well, INEC said today, he said they have learned so many lessons talking about the general elections that took place in uh, February 25th, 2023, so many lessons I have learned, and these lessons they have learned, they are going to, you know, use it to work. And Nigerians, you can see, Nigerians are still asking questions because they don't trust Nigerian INEC. It can't be like saying Nigerians, they vote, they go announce, then the court could decide. So who is now doing the voting? As many, per as majority of Nigerians here who have reacted to this are now saying, there is no need coming out to vote. Because where you go vote, then go decide. My people are big. Make one another they discourage them. Yes. Once you are discouraged, everything will finish. Matter be that. That is that is what they want. Discourage people not to come at. If you understand what happened in that 2023 presidential election, they understand. They saw they saw the 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 the, the wave. They saw it. They understand. It's it is just like People coming out to vote is an intimidation to those people who rigged the election. 
You understand? You intimidate them when you come out to vote. But when you don't come out to even if say they want they won't do mago mago, then go still get issues. Just like as issues they ground. But when you don't come out to vote, they will see opportunity. You understand? To play their games. We should not be tired until we get there. You understand? The battle is not over until it's over. So we should not be tired. This fight is for every one of us. Nigeria need a good leader. We should not be tired of because of what is happening or what has happened. We have to keep pushing. It's just like someone who is fighting for freedom. You can never get tired until you get your freedom. That is how life is. So anybody who is telling you don't come out to vote, this and this and that, you are just giving them the opportunity to do what they want to do. So the best thing is come out to vote. Anybody who votes for Uzodema is an enemy of Igbos. Let him enjoy one term of his stolen mandate. Never again. The governor knows that nobody will vote for APC. Hope Uzodema and the Supreme Court's magic did the worst. It's a shameful shame. We shall see how serious emo lights are to witness their liberation this coming election. Hope Uzodema does not deserve any second term because it could not guarantee the security of lives of Imo people. Opu Zodima is an achiever. He deserves second tenor. These are reactions. Very true. Supreme Court government, very true. He truly did not. He, tr he truly did, but no strong opposition to kick him out. He really has. Imo state has turned upside down. He has destroyed Imo state beyond repair. Hmm. Who does not know that? Hmm. These are reactions from Nigerians. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this.